On today's episode of SEO Lunch, the best keyword tips on the market from the start of the page to the bottom. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of SEO Lunch. I'm your host, Dan, and SEO Lunch is your weekly look at the latest and greatest inbound marketing tips, search engine optimization tricks, and other elements to better improve your website. As always, this is brought to you by our wonderful Embrace WP service, folks. If you need more help with your keyword campaigns or other search engine needs, go to embracewp.com and contact us at embracewp.com slash contact for more. So, We've been getting a lot of reception to our recent entries in this show and SEO lunch about keywords. I've gone over a lot of AdWords tips and sorry, don't worry if you've been watching and you're a loyal fan, no AdWords today. We're going to avoid it for now. We're going to just talk in general about keywords and keyword practices, but I definitely wanted to continue to touch on it because people really want it. So let's talk about it. This is going to go over a little bit more keyword practice throughout the whole of a website and, and what to do and what not to do. As I mentioned a few weeks ago, you definitely want to do long tail keywords or essentially keywords that are, are longer. Uh, so instead of hitting on sauce, you want to hit on best pizza sauce, for example, would be an example of a longer keyword. And put that keyword throughout your post. So how much should I do? We get asked all the time sort of the best keyword practices. Is there too, a such thing as too much? Is there a such thing as too little? The answer is yes and no. And the reason why I say that is, yes, there is a limit to how many keywords you should have on your website, but this changes so frequently. You could be watching this video two months from now, and that could have changed on Google's algorithm. And what I mean by that is currently right now, I believe we're somewhere around 2% or so. So what I mean by that is 2% of the content on your page should be the keyword you're trying to hit for. So if I have a thousand car or a thousand word, you know, page or something like that, I might want to have 10 to 15 sets strings of keywords on my page or in my post uh, that includes the title um, as well as maybe like the permalink of the page as well. So what I mean by that as far as the title and the permalink is when you're crafting your uh, your article if we go to this article here I'll show you that I have on my computer screen here <clears throat> we're going to use our pizza sauce example as always and we're going to notice we have best pizza sauce on the market here. <clears throat> now why this is important is because we're gonna rank for best pizza sauce. This is the keyword we wanna rank for in this case. And whatever your business is, is you know whatever you'd like to do. So if it's something different, if it's you know a car part, you would wanna talk about where to get the best car part that you want, the best muffler, whatever it is, right? Best muffler in Massachusetts, I don't know, whatever you wanna rank for. And we have plenty of those AdWords videos to show you how to test those keywords before you implement them. The next thing we have here on, on WordPress specifically is the permalink. So I can go here. And I can change this to best pizza sauce. And that's going to change the permalink there. So that's also good. Now your permalink is best pizza sauce. So that helps. Here's your content. And in your content, you'd want to have articles. Content with references to the best pizza sauce. When you're writing content, there are two things to consider. You definitely want to have a good amount of keywords, and you can even do more than one keyword. You can focus test different ones, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute or two. But when you're writing an article, you want to make sure that you're putting as many keywords as possible without getting too redundant and without making it seem forced, right? So best pizza sauce in the market, that's not a bad article title. I get it. I'm looking for the best pizza sauce in the market. But when I'm looking at an article, if there's just best, best pizza sauce written all over the place, that's going to be an issue. Just from a readability perspective, and, and Google notices that too, if I go to an article and it's really short, there isn't good content on there, I'm going to skip. I'm going to bounce to the next page or to another website. Maybe I'll go back to that Google search. I'll exit that way. I won't go anywhere else on your website. And now you've sort of lost that business. So we definitely want to avoid that. So make sure your article is still good, relevant content, but you definitely want to include those keywords as well. And again, right now it's 10, 15 keywords on a, on a page, I'd say, give or take, depending on how long your keyword is. Um, but that's just sort of a, a ballpark because that could change at any time. Could go down, could go up, however Google wants to play that that week. Um, going down this page here, the next thing I wanted to show, maybe, 
is here we go it was locked up for a second is wordpress seo by Yoast. so this is a plugin it's a free plugin you can download in the repository i know i've used it before but i wanted to bring a few other things up when you're looking at your seo title you want it to look as good as possible so i can do best pizza sauce again and you can change these words too as long as they sound or resemble what your article is about that's fine because this is going to be what google sees and you can actually see the snippet preview here with the plugin of what it's going to look like on google uh, so best pizza sauce available if I wrote, you know, best car parts that would work. But now this SEO title has nothing to do with the actual content on the page. So that's not a good thing. We don't want to do that. Obviously, that's a little extreme, but you want to keep it. You want people to know why they're clicking on your on your uh, article from Google. The other thing you can do here, though, with the meta description is the same kind of thing. So the meta description is that thing that goes below your link here. So if I start typing what is the best pizza sauce? We have your answer right here. This is actionable. It kind of gets people, you might want to make it a little longer, but it gets people to see what they're looking at. So what am I going to read? What am I going to find out with this article? There it is. What's the best pizza sauce? My answer is going to be in this article. Maybe I'll click on it. So that's what, that's what we'll do there. And that's sort of a look at linking. Um, make sure that you put links in your header tags if your content is well. So actually, let me show you that too. If we go down here to this page here and I put best pizza sauce. I can actually go here and make it like a header two or something. And there we have it. Now we have your best pizza sauce in the header. This is also really, really good for Google as well. So those practices, again, 10, 15 keywords or so for now the title, the permalink, your meta descriptions, your SEO title, um, focus test your keywords. So if I go into this plugin again, go to the focus keyword here, I can even focus this keyword. Now you will have to refresh your page or save your page first. And here's actually some suggestions too. So you can do best pizza sauce recipe, even longer tail keyword. And then once you've saved it, you'll be able to test the keywords here, as I mentioned. Uh, and it will tell you how many times you have it in your page. So you don't have to count. You don't have to go through and count, which is really nice. So use those tips. Optimize your keywords on your websites. Again, make sure it's good content, actionable content, getting people other parts of the page. And make sure you optimize those keywords. If you have any other questions, please let us know by commenting below in the video or on our article. Um, subscribe to us as always. Our big old red subscribe button's right there on this video, right over there, I think. Um, so please do subscribe to us or subscribe at Slocum Studio dot com slash subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys.